Hello everyone, my name is Ash and welcome to the Birthday Bingus Jamboree. Tomorrow is technically my birthday, but um, my uh, family will be spending it with me tomorrow and I am spending it with you today. So for all intents and purposes, today is my birthday. Wow, I'm sure glad I have this background here so you guys can all look at something pretty. Look at that Mirka is having a great time. I don't understand people who have like 200 crowns. But that's okay. I don't feel bad about myself. Because Fall Guys gives you uh, consolation crowns every couple levels. So as long as I keep leveling up, I will get crowns at some point. And that's kind of like a win. I've gotten very close to winning. I've gotten to like the fourth and fifth rounds. Fall Mountain. I've seen it. I've touched it. I've sniffed it. Get, get. And my mom was like, what do you want for dinner for your birthday? And what I came up with was I wanted weenies, beanies, and ronies. <laughs> I was just like, because normally I ask for like lasagna or ravioli, but I've done that like the past like, oh, I'm dead. Uh, I've done that for like the past like four or five years and there's only so much Italian food you can eat before you turn into a ravioli. Uh, oh, 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 ha, oh, ha, oh, oh, ha. Oh. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Nailed it, nailed it, dead. You know, I'm kind of disappointed. As much as I like the goofy names for the objects, like there's Big Yeetus and there's Lil Yeetus and all that, um, they, they made a, you know, the balls that sw swung back and forth that hit you? in the one level that I did. Uh, they made a one that's a jingle bell for the new season that they're doing, which is a winter themed season. And they let the community vote on the name. And one option was Ringus Dingus, which is a good name. But another option was Sleigh Bell, which I thought was killer. No pun intended. And Sleigh Bell is in second place. It, I don't think it's gonna win. Ringus Dingus, just the power is too strong. And I'm fine with Ringus Dingus, I just thought Sleigh Bell was pretty clever. I'm not vegetarian. Not because I'm poor. I just don't want to be. Wait, why am I playing as a green character with pants? This isn't what I decided to be. Did it like glitch and not load the costumes properly? Everyone's like basic ass characters. <laughs> What's up with this? This is weird. Okay. I wonder if this is happening for anyone else or if it's just me. I walk into my kid's bedroom. I'm like, are you winning, son? And my kid's like, Dad, I told you. I'm not into games and I never will be. I'm into books. And I'm like, I know. I'm trying to support you. Are you winning at the, the, book, the book reading? <laughs> and my kid's like, yes, Dad. I'm winning. <laughs> Egg, egg, e egg, egg. Yay, I helped. You ever think there will be like Fall Guys esports? Like someone will get paid like $10,000 to rep like gamer, gamer girl bathwater while they play Fall Guys? There will be like a esports competition for Fall Guys. Oh, fuck. And then like they'll all have like weird names. They'll be like, and Mad Dog is coming up onto the stage. And then like Mad Dog comes up onto the stage. And like some girl is like, Mad Dog, I love you. <laughs> and then Mad Dog's like, I'm gay, and does like the peace sign. Like like Sonic Fox, but for Fall Guys. <laughs> hey, my fellow pigeon brethren. How's it going, dudes? Staying away from the humans. Oh fuck, I'm getting bald. Oh god, it's a ball explosion. Oh god. <laughs> oh. There we go. Oh gamers. Oh gamers. Oh gamers. 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 Let's go gamers. Did y'all just hear that I farted? If you didn't forget that I just said that. Oh, it smells! 
<coughs> That's terrible. <laughs> okay, so this is from um Dr. Ferox, a veterinarian from Australia. Um on Tumblr. Minty Deer Art asked, I just read your post about why horses are so badly designed as a species. It was very interesting. But I was wondering, are most of these things still true for Przlowski's horses that weren't muddled with by humans slash selective breeding? Designed, uh, just so you know, a metaphobia warning. Um, designed isn't really the best war word because there is no designer. It just happens that the horse works well enough to breed enough to perpetuate its genes, and so it goes on. Many of the, link, things that are wrong with horses are also true for wild and feral horses. Przlowski's horses, donkeys, and mules. Donkey horse hybrid. Number one, all of these animals cannot barf. If they eat something that's bad or have gas buildup in their stomach, they cannot evacuate it. Um, and they have to deal with it or their stomach will rupture. Their form of dealing with it might be to roll around in colic, which might encourage some other mobile piece of gut to get twisted, and this will result in death or surgery. Two, large bowel displacements of various types can occur because the intest because of the internal because the internal anatomy is the same. Diet, more fiber, can reduce some of these, but the potential is still present and catastrophic when it happens. Three, giving birth is still fast and explosive. Ponies and Przlowski horses are, have relatively shorter, thicker, thicker necks and shorter legs, so there is a reduced likelihood that these things get tangled or flipped the wrong way. 4. I don't know if wild horses will kick each other hard enough to rupture spleens. They certainly do damage, though, and this is one of their defense mechanisms against predators. Um, 5 and 6. Okay, so this is referencing another post they made, things that are wrong with horses. Um, okay. Here's the one things that are wrong with horses. Hi, Doc. I love reading your blog. I found you first through the Lucifer story, reminded me of a friend of mine, actually, and then thought, and then through your mermaid post and have been hanging around ever since. I looked through your archive, but didn't find this question, so hopefully it has been asked before. What is it about horse anatomy that makes their legs so seemingly fragile? You'd think being as big as they are, they'd be more all around solid. Thanks for reading. Have a good one. And this is what the, the veterinarian says. The horse, Equus caballus, is one of my favorite arguments against intelligent design. I've spoken about why I no longer see them, but even as a student, I would wonder why and how this species existed when there were apparently so many things that could go wrong with its own anatomy, especially next to something tough like a trusty cow. Moo. Oh, hi, Lainey. Thank you. It's okay. We've still got lots more time to stream. Okay, so I'm going to use your question as an excuse to write a post that had been on my mind for a while. Things that are wrong with horses. Number one, cannot barf. Number two, the large bowel of the horse is freaking huge, but can actually displace itself and bend around the wrong way, resulting in obstruction, colic, and death without surgical intervention. This can commonly happen after exertion, I don't know what that is, and giving birth. Colic due to nephrosplenic entrapment is particularly common after the horse has an adrenaline release, which causes the spleen to temporarily contract. And this seems like a poor design to risk death every time you spook or go for a fast run, especially in a species known for spooking and running fast. Giving birth is a fast and explosive affair in the horse. I know I've seen it on YouTube. Don't ask me how I found horse birth on YouTube. I just ended up in the farm community on YouTube and, and things happened. Um, the whole pu pushing business should be over and done in about 20 minutes. However, this assumes that everything is lined up just right for a normal delivery. Foals are all long neck legs and necks, which are easy to get tangled or bent around the wrong way. If you wanna go watch a horse give birth, it is terrifying. Uh, goats are also terrifying, but slightly less because they're not as big. A mare is strong enough to push her foal's feet towards through her uterine wall, which is death all around. Speaking of strength, sometimes horses will kick each other when they have an attitude, and they can do so with enough strength to rupture each other's spleens. When galloping, most horses, best studied in thoroughbreds because they are made to gallop on a regular basis, 
Horses routinely bash their diaphragm with such force against their liver that their liver bruises. Number six, galloping also makes their lungs bleed. That's why racehorses have their head held up after a race, so you don't see any blood come out of their nose. Even horses that you don't see bleed have evidence of pulmonary bleeding after a gallop if you scope them. Uh, number seven, their leg bones are actually pretty damn tough, but the ends are spindly little things compared to the massive musculature up top. The legs are subjected to huge biomechanical forces when a horse runs, which can often subject them to ligament damage and lameness. A fractured leg bone can heal like any other, but if a horse can't bear weight evenly on all four legs for an extended period of time, then they are at risk of laminitis. Eight, laminitis can cause the hoof to slough off. They can also get laminitis from eating a bit too well. Number nine, speaking of eating, they can also get colic from not eating enough fiber or the wrong sorts of plants or from eating too much dirt. Ten, oh, and just to mess with you, horses have a space in their head called a guttural pouch, which seems to exist for no other reason as far as I can tell. Okay, maybe it's about heat regulation. Other t than to get fungal infections that eat through the exposed artery that cause the horse to die from blood loss through its nose. <laughs> This list is by no means complete. I haven't even touched on their anesthetics or drug reactions, but it's a simple start. So yeah, horses are... Horses are something. Um, there, there's, there's a lot of posts about, about horses and how they are um, made very funny. But yeah. Makes you, it makes you feel bad for horses, because it's like that meme. Why are we here? To suffer. <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! I was gonna say you too, and then I realized it's my birthday, not yours. Oh. Alright, I'm getting stabbed. Ow! My spleen! Ow! My kidneys! Ow! My appendix! Wait, I don't have one. Okay. This one... Oh shit, I didn't do any blocking! I should've played Rage! Why didn't I do that? What's wrong with me? I had a block potion! Oh, jeez. Okay, hold on. I hate you. I hate you, you stupid little, you stupid little whatever you are. Cretan. Disgusting. <sighs> Ocarina shaped looking thing. Nasty. Just gross. Look at him. You don't even have any teeth. He's just gums. He's just gums. Suck it. I'm gonna take the flu juice. Kyle says HP doesn't matter, but Kyle's not here right now, so... As far as I'm concerned... Suck it. Okay. I literally plot my path based on where the stores are. <laughs> it's not always the safest. It gets me killed a lot. But I am convinced it has won me at least two games, because I have won at least twice. I think I've won three times. People really liked me playing Fall Guys, that's for sure. I mean, a lot of people just came out because it was my birthday, but... If I could get, like, a more stable... connection... Oh my god. I would not be the top Fall Guys streamer. That's just a fact, I wouldn't be. Okay, I gotta metallicize, because they're gonna hit me with a ton of damage if I don't. <sighs> Remember, gamers. Always stretch, and uh, if your pee looks funny, seek medical attention.
Ooh. Ha! Could you imagine the voice actors coming in for Slay the Spire and they're like, Hey, we need you to make a sound that sounds like... <laughs> and they're like, I'm sorry, you want me to make what sound? You know, like... <laughs> and then we'll like put some echoey effects on it. So you, you want me to, you know... <laughs> I'm not sure I understand. What is there not to be understood? Just go... Uh. Ah, fuck, birds. Well, whatever, birds aren't real. What we have here is three government spy cameras. Here, have, a, have an image. It's me. I'm running from my demons. We're going to switch to We're going to switch to the sheltered game. Is it installed is the real question. It is. Oh, exciting. I unlocked 83% of the achievements in this game. You've played for 44 hours. Would you recommend this game to other players? No. <laughs> Could you imagine if I hit that? There was actually someone who, uh, they had played a game for like a thousand hours and they um, recommended it with a no. Uh, and they said, I can't stop playing. So therefore I would not recommend this to you. And I was like, well, that's kind of, I get the point, but you are hurting the devs when you do that. Too. <laughs> Here's a bunch more. <laughs> Courtesy of Lainey. Thank you, Lainey, for sending me these. Here's one. Not recommended. 2,000 hours on record. A game of very literally nothing. Waste of time. Requires no skills, no presence, nor intellect. Except, except if you have a sub-50 IQ avoid. <laughs> <laughs> kind of mean I don't think most people have a sub 50 IQ and I don't, I don't think it really matters because IQ is fake anyway okay survival scenario sleeping takes fucking forever I mean that's kind of obvious but Oh! You don't punch a kid in the head. That's not nice. Oh. Oh. Zaya did murder. Cool. Let's steal his shit. Please come back with food. Please come back with like 17 cans of Campbell's. Deer! Uh, Alright, well while we're... While we're dealing with that... Let's, let's build another water thing. So that if it rains ever again... In like the history of time... We can have some more water! Shut up, dear. <gasps> rain! Oh my god, rain! Get in the shower. I'm taking two showers. We're not gonna die. <gasps> Yay. Oh my god. So I just ate that whole deer. Zaya has food poisoning! What the heck? 
<laughs> it's just, it just can't be real. Look at our nice little house. Yeah, there's poopy on the floor, but like, who doesn't have a little poopy on the floor? I'm dying. You better be happy that you caught me with my pants down. Ain't ever gonna happen again. This ain't the last you've seen of Carol. All right, Carol. You know what? I'm gonna send Elena on the expedition, even though she has food poisoning. Characters with food poisoning cannot be sent on an expedition. I am not going to send Lainey on the expedition. I know we're down to our last rations of food. At least I'm trying. God, it sucks to go out on a whole expedition and everything, and it's like, we're down to our last rations of food. Yeah, I know. Wise ass. Alright, you're gonna put on a hazmat suit and go eat that poisoned turkey or whatever's outside. Saya has food poisoning. Oh no. I am surprised and shocked. I can't believe Zaya has food poisoning. I could have never suspected that. I never would have expected that. How could this have happened? If I had known that Zaya would have gotten food poisoning, I most certainly would not have told Zem to eat the deer. Well, Zaya, if you're gonna die on us, at least clean up before you do. Oh, I'm so tired. I had such a good time today. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna relax now. This game's a lot harder than I remember it being. But I think they changed some things. I would love to play some more of it on stream sometime. Maybe play stasis. Oh. Oh my god, I'm tired. Okay. Thank you so much for watching, everyone! If you liked this stream, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you hated this stream, please like, comment, and subscribe. Remember to smash that notification bell to get notified when I go live, and always, always love yourselves. I'm not gonna post all of these, uh... All of the streams on YouTube, I'm going to cut them up in the highlights and post that. Because I think these were very long streams and there was a lot of just like, um, like with Sheltered, lots of bits of silence in between and such. So it could easily be cut up into little highlights. <coughs> Sorry. Um. But yeah, um. Thank you, thank you. Tomorrow I'm going to spend time with my family and probably play games with them and, and have a good time. And, you know, hopefully I'll get to um, see my boys soon because I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sad about that, actually. Um, sometimes I feel like things have not been going all well for me, but, you know, it is what it is. Things are not going well for a lot of people right now, so, you know... That's just a bummer. Um, oh, so sleepy. But yeah, thank you everyone who stayed for like a really long time. I really appreciate it. Um, and the, I mean, otherwise I probably would have spent all weekend being really, really sad. Um, and that would that would have been a total bummer. So yeah, I'm gonna go. Um. Next week, we'll go back to our regular, more structured stream. Um, on Friday, probably, we'll play Puzzle Adventure again. Uh, we're getting really close to uh, learning some really cool stuff. Uh, I remember things like start to really like pick up a lot. It'd get very difficult. So that'll be fun. But yeah, thank you everyone so much for watching. I'm gonna go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.